internet at all, you've seen recently that there has been a craze, a delirium that has washed over society pertaining to Stanley tumblers or cups or whatever the fuck you want to call them, dude. People are losing their shit over a coffee thermos that has a handle on it. That's literally what we're dealing with here, people. Like, there's nothing really innovative, in my opinion, about the Stanley Cup. Am I wrong? Come on. Like, let's be real, dude. Today, we're going to take a deep dive and just see how badly the Stanley Cups have infected society today. There's some crazy stuff. People are losing their shit. They don't know how to conduct themselves anymore because of these goddamn cups, dude. Let's jump right in, waste no time, and see what we got cooking. People on TikTok are literally losing their minds over a cup. Target just dropped the Valentine's edition of the popular Stanley Cup, and the videos being shared online are concerning to say the least. In the videos, you can see moms and teenagers sprinting down the aisles at Target and clearing out the entire Stanley section with in a few seconds. The crowds got so bad that people were allegedly getting injured on their way to buy the cups to the point where Target had to put a two limit purchase per guest. But that didn't stop people from taking advantage of their high demand and reselling them for up to $100 when each one normally costs around $30. And the craziest part is, is that these Stanley Cups are no different from the regular ones that they've been selling for years. The only difference is that they come in exclusive red and pink colors, resulting in people collecting every single color of Stanley Cup imaginable. Okay, so from what I've gathered from all the culmination of videos that I have for you guys today, it seems like it's all surrounding this Valentine's Day drop. So this shit is just really, you know, getting to the hearts of the Stanley users. They love it, bro. And they are willing to have blood shed so that their collection can be complete. <laughs> You may be asking, what are these people acting like, dog? They're creating lines, okay? In order to get these cups, they are showing up hours early and creating lines and rushing into stores, bro. Here's a little quick video of them marching in towards Starbucks in order to get their cups. This is ridiculous. so giddy. It's crazy. Look at these guys. They're like, oh my god, Stanley Cup. I feel so bad for these uh, Starbucks employees right now. Just imagine like your opening shift, you're getting everything prepared. You know, opening, eh, it doesn't really suck to be honest. But, you know, you're kind of groggy, you're getting the fucking dust man's dust out of your eyeballs. You know what I mean? I got a little bit. And then you get like 50 people running up to you. <laughs> Yo, please, let me get two Stanley Cups and a caramel macchiato, please. Like, dude, that's probably so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, news! <laughs> But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let's dive into the juice, the juiciness of it all. So the first video that we're going to look at is a man who allegedly cut the line. You're going to see how this entire mob just starts tearing him apart. All the kid wants is a cup, dude. No! Time for the Starbucks X Target Stanley Cup, but we were not having it. And then you said you're going to deck me. So I got over here because no, I didn't want to you. Have to you have to get to the end of the line. There was no line. There is a you line. were in a circle over here. Because we already knew our place. But it doesn't have it doesn't have Some of us had been standing here since 3 a.m. All right, I'm sorry, guys, but if you're there since 3 a.m., you don't stand in a circle, okay? You stay in that line, okay? You've been there for like three hours. You don't stand in the circle and hope that somebody who's approaching the building right when they're opening isn't going to, uh, you know, cut. Like, come on. How is he supposed to even know? Realistically, though, if it was a circle, everybody knew their position. What am I supposed to do? Walk up and then be social with you guys? Hey, guys! Are you guys waiting in line? Who was last? Okay, I'll remember that position. Let me enter the circle. <laughs> We're talking about Stanley Cups. I got one last week. I love it so much. This is a little bit of like a little culty situation. Can somebody call the police and get this? They're about to call the police on this guy over a cup. Just because he cut line for a cup. Get, get this fool out of here. 
You're the fool. You've been waiting here for three hours for a cop because it's red. The hell is your problem? Like, all right, I can just tell. Look at the way this guy's standing here. He's a reseller. Let's be real. He he knows what he's doing. This is business. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm listing them right now. I'm selling them right now on Mercari right here. You can tell. This guy knows what's up. The lady in the beige pants ended up hitting the call button to get a manager to come outside. I'm 10, but there was no line. How is there no line? All these people. It was a circle. All right, it was a circle, but we were still standing in the line. Obviously, everybody here. Cops. We're not arguing. Straightening them out like he should. You guys are adults. Act like it. We're talking about a metal cylinder here. Fuck. When did you get here? I got here after the block. Okay. No. No. So no. No. no wherever, you. wherever you were. Because everybody you watched you. Okay. I was here after work. Let's get this going. Oh, it's in chronological order. Three. I was number eight. Thank you. Nope. No. We were let in at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Sharp. sharp. These people were waiting there for five hours. Holy shit. Cup secured. That's it? Literally, Patchy. Dude. What in the fuck? That's it, dude? All of that. Five hours of waiting. An argument. Get the manager. Go to Starbucks. I have a pink cup now. Fucking grip, lady. Whatever, dude. These people really love their cups, I guess. You know, you can't fuck around with something that somebody gets passionate about. So let's see a burning display of passion as some random dude jumps over the counter and steals a bunch of fucking Stanley cups. This dude was definitely planning on reselling all of these cups. And like, you gotta, you gotta respect the grind, you know? You know, 24-7 grind mindset, dude. Oh, la, 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 la. Let's see what we got here. Hey, and you're behind me. How about you? Who's there? Oh, 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 Somebody, she tried to grab my back. Pause. Pause the video. Like, what is going on with these people? So first you have one guy jumping the counter, sprinting out with his Stanley Cups in hand, ready to go. Then amid all the chaos, some random woman in the crowd decides to grab the filmer's purse. Like, dude, these people are going crazy. It's probably the lead inside the Stanley Cups, to be honest. But, dude, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hello, hello, hello. They just tried to grab it. They just, look at them. They're trying to steal. You guys, this is insane. <laughs> I mean, to my boy's credit, that was like eight cups. That's like a grand right there. That's a pretty nice little chunk of change. I would do it. <laughs> no, I would not. I would not do it. I would not do it. For sure. The last segment today that I want to touch on is two women in Starbucks, both gripping the Stanley, unwilling to, to succumb to the reality of the situation that neither of them are going to get it because of their selfish acts. Let's see what we got. Stanley acts Starbucks drama. You didn't get one in the cup. No, no, he's going to play from me. Are you serious right now? Ladies, ladies, let's go down here. Stanley cups go around. I'm going to take the cup from both of you. Oh my God, my God. That is not true. No, that is not true. Nobody will say that that happened because it didn't. There's a problem with my hair. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, it's okay. I have the cup, but she's trying to sit. I'm just standing up there for an hour and a half. Wasn't she behind you? Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, yeah I was. I was in line. I was in line. Second, second. Second in line. She got the cup, and then some random chick was like. Give me that.
she didn't grab the cup. Then how did I end up with it? No, I did not. Yes, Do you have cameras in this area? Right now, the situation is that neither of them are going to be getting this cup because they're both holding on to it. Dude, view the cameras. Let's just get down to the bottom of it. Whoever grabbed it, get them the fuck out of the building. There's a part two. It may seem cut and dry, but it ain't. Let's see what really went down, dude. I didn't expect so many people to be invested in this video, so I'm here to do a part two and answer some questions and do a little bit of a story time. So at the end of this video, the security officer ends up taking the cup from both women and he won't allow either no of them to make a purchase. Necessary. While I didn't see who grabbed the cup first, I will say the woman in the pink scarf was directly in line in front of the other woman while we were waiting okay. outside. She was but in front, right? It makes sense. So she gets the cup. The other lady grabs it. Ridiculous. Lady, what the fuck's wrong with you? Get a grip. But the woman with the pink scarf also had two people join her in line, one of which just 10 minutes before the store opened, essentially cutting in front of everybody that had been waiting in line for an hour or more at that point. Wow. Bullshit alert. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. So you're out here screaming and hollering, we've been out here for an hour and a half. Yet you got your friends pulling up 10 minutes before the doors open, joining you in line. You're full of shit, lady. Straight up. All of this Stanley Cup craziness is just absolutely diluting everybody's judgment. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. And the world. <laughs> Am I wrong, dude? Let me know down in the comments below. This, like, people are losing their shit. This reminds me of, like, children lining up when Call of Modern Warfare came out. What are we doing here? I feel like those were more civil, if anything. Like, when Modern Warfare came out, everybody was just kind of, like, vibing out in front of GameStop. This is out of control. Get a grip. This ain't Black Friday. That time's over. This, just relax, guys. Straight up. I'm like, whoa. Well, all over a cop. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, comment, like, and subscribe for your boy Peeblar. I'm pumping these things out. Three times a week, we got videos coming out. Three times a week, people. Woo, woo. So, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You'll never miss one of my videos. You'll pop it on and be like, yeah, this is a good video for like 15 minutes. And then you're chilling, dog, right? All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well and peace.